So there's over 200,000 people in Victoria who have blindness or have low vision. Around about 2,000 of them receive services from Guide Dogs Victoria. We have over 50 people who are involved in the breeding, the training, the development of guide dogs here. The training of a guide dog actually starts pretty much from the moment it's born. Our staff down in the, the breeding centre in the nursery work with the, the puppies and teach it some of the real basic manners and, and obedience that it needs. training. Welcome to the Vet Clinic. My name's Anne and I'm one of the part-time vets that works here at Guide Dogs and we look after the health of the puppies the whole way through from when they're born and then as they do their training and then even a little bit when they go out with their handlers and we can take x-rays to make sure their, their bones are healthy too. Good boy, Teresa. Steady, steady. So training is usually 20 weeks for the dogs. We have an eight week, a 12 week, and a 16 week assessment point. It's really nice, this boy's very calm. He's not very anxious. We look at their body language. First walk we do is just generally around campus and maybe just over the street to get some traffic and come back. Then we progressively go into residential, a little bit more business and shopping areas and it gets busier. Good boy. So you see there's no hesitation whatsoever. He just does them like it's not new. Good boy! Can you find the way? Where is it? Find the way. That's it, good boy! Once they're about a few weeks in, we start putting the harness on um, and start taking them around residential streets and working on roads. Yeah, good boy! We use a lot of food rewards in the early days of guide dog training and we start to peter that out over the 20 week program. Um, and then it's basically reliant on the dog to have a really good bond and every guide dog handler will know exactly where the dog likes to be scratched.
we are today in Arnold Cook House. This is our residential facility where individuals come to, to complete their training with their new guide dogs. Um, prior to that happening, we need to go through a very extensive matching phase to make sure that we get the right dog for the right person. Today what we've got set up is an obstacle course. So this is a way of replicating things like street furniture, cafe tables and chairs, and it teaches the individual how to follow their dog through the obstacles nice and safely. I'm Brendan Spencer, I'm 22 years old. This is Warren, down here. Warren's four years old, so I've had Warren for three years. I've now been able to fulfill um, life goals and certainly achieve through that. I completed a year and a half at the Australian Catholic University. Can you come? Sit. Wow, great sit. Okay, so when you look at my outfit, what's the first thing you think of? Beach person, am I right? Julie and I have been meaning to take money to the beach for a while now. We had to wait until we established a good level of trust with her. She is getting better at some basic commands and is over some of her generalized anxiety. So we thought today it would be a good day to try and take money to the beach for the very first time. This will be her first time ever seeing the ocean or the beach. I know on YouTube, like a lot of people have suggested to me to take Bunny to the beach because then she can run. But in California, you can't let your dogs run off leash on the beach. If they're on leash beaches, so that's what we're going to. It's an on leash dog beach. And I tried calling many times. I don't think we can bring four dogs there. I think we can bring like one per person, pretty much. So I'm really sorry, Peachy and Marble, today, but we're bringing Kermit and Bunny to the beach. Kermit and Marbles have been to the, this particular beach before. They both hated it. They don't enjoy the beach. Kermit cries the entire time. But Kermit has been a very powerful training tool for us with Bunny because although he cries a lot, he is socially confident and- So he had the opportunity to live independently and will be heading to India for our first ever blind soccer tournament in September. They're, they're just amazing to work for and it's really good to know that we all live up to the values of the organisation, the honesty, the accountability and at the end of the day it's for the people who come along to us and need that service, we're there to help them to go and live an independent life. I mean this has actually altered my life in the best, most positive way that it could have. So I feel so fortunate to have had guide dogs in my life and to know that all of the people that I have ever spoken to using a cane or a dog feel exactly the same way. She got up a couple times because there was a truck behind us that she didn't like. Kermit has cried the entire time. We usually just take her to the park. You know, they say keep their world small while they're still learning how to how to dog. So this is a very large world to her today. Proud of you, girl. I'm proud of you. Well, we are almost there. Bunny's doing good. She's sitting down. Kermit is being Kermit. We're almost there. Okay. Okay, we have made it to the beach. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to carry and to set up, so I think we're gonna wait till we get set up. But we're here. Bunny, you made it, honey. Go to the beach, baby. Are you excited? We'll show you in a minute. Bunny. You see the beach? Come on, baby. Does not fear things like the ocean or the beach. He just doesn't want to be there. So when Bunny sees him doing something with confidence, it actually helps her feel more confident. And so that's why we're bringing Kermit, even though you don't even like the beach. So we are bringing a pop-up tent. It's kind of tight in there with Bunny, but it is an on-leash dog beach. So I'm sorry if you're looking for beautiful footage of greyhounds running on beaches, you can have to look up an Australian greyhound owner or something like that. I still do really want her to see the beach while it's still warm out and nice out. So that's what we're gonna do today. What do you think, Kerm? You wanna go to the beach? To the beach, beach. He me judge. I have a fine um, fanny pack. It's vintage from when Vine was alive. I don't wanna talk about it. It's gonna take us a 
while to get there, uh, over an hour probably, and I think this will be the longest car ride that we've taken Bunny on, right? Bunny! <laughs> She's just in her bed, like, I'm not going anywhere today, fam. How far are we into our drive? About 10 minutes. She settled a couple times. She settles when we go a little faster. She said, come on. energy. 